Then you got like, you know, Juno Temple and she's like, she's just like, she's, she's a scientist, you know, like this is all very scientific. And then, yeah, it's just, I, I, these characters, they, they don't really give you enough time to really yeah. care for them. They'd even give you some of the backstory to uh, Juno Temple's character. But I was just like, wh 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 why are we, why are we even taking time to do this? This is supposed it to feels be out of place. This is supposed to be Eddie Brock's last movie. Why, yeah. why are we not, why are we not focusing on him? Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up, everybody? I'm John, and I'm with... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mike here. <laughs> yes, and we're going to be talking about Venom The Last Dance. We just watched this movie, and in this review, we're going to be doing some minor, minor spoilers. We're going to try to avoid the major spoilers, but there are some things where we just want to just have to talk about it. So just a warning for you guys. If you want to go into this movie completely blind, do not watch this review. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to read off my reaction and I, I tweeted this out too. So uh, I said, Venom, the last dance is unintentionally hilarious. And many parts had me rolling my eyes. The friendship between Eddie Brock and Venom was fun. Sadly, the story, dialogue, and characters were mediocre. Also, Noel was laughably bad. And so just <laughs> from that, what is your reaction? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I was reading on some of the stuff that was like coming out early, like early reactions. Some people were saying that this is the this is the best of the trilogy. What? And <laughs> uh who said yeah, this? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. So, this is like some of the early uh uh reviews that came out i think they came out yesterday yeah. Yeah. uh but yeah after seeing it i think it's actually the weakest of the all three films and still say that's not saying much for like let's say like let there be carnage i think is probably second uh the first one is just it's still the best one to me uh but yeah it, i i didn't like this or i didn't enjoy it as much as i was hoping i would um yeah, yeah very much the same like i thought there were still funny points uh parts and i still think Tom Hardy is still good as Venom. Like he's still enjoyable to watch. He's still entertaining as that character. It's just whenever the the story deviates away from him to focus on other things, it's like that's where really like it really hinders the plot. It really hinders yeah, the, it, the progression of the I wanna story. Say, I wouldn't say hinders because there is no plot. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's not much to it other than yeah. no Noel is here and uh he's he's you know he's he wants to take over you know as an evil villain uh, but we can talk about that afterwards i want to talk first i want to talk about like uh what we've both enjoyed from this so you've enjoyed tom hardy as as venom and uh for me yeah like just the stuff when it's just like them just walking around dealing with stuff like right after they fight the uh, was it the xenophage is that what you call it yeah yeah hello snow yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> see the, so the xenophage uh, after that, you know, they're on like their little walking trip and it's them just bantering back and forth. It's a lot of fun. And it's like other stuff. I'm always happy to see Mrs. Chen. Uh, every time we get to see her, you know, brings a smile to me. Uh, just seeing that, like, I wish she had more screen time. And I guess what else was like, maybe... <laughs> there's a you, you what, what do you think like what, what's the other stuff that like you really enjoyed about venom the last dance i i think it's just it's just venom and uh eddie brock that's about it i mean they this movie it, it starts literally right from the no way home uh end credit scene where it's like yeah. you know he's just getting transported back to his own reality and they they basically redid that scene. I don't know if you noticed that. Like they, it's it's not the same version. It's a different it's a different cut of that uh, scene. They basically had to re re record it. And I'm kind of wondering if this means that they've retconned that end credit scene from No Way Home. Yeah, I, don't know. I feel like Do it's it's uh maybe it's like a different angle and it's just additional dialogue. Maybe I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know. It's just like uh, it's really weird. But like, there's no. There's really no like time to set up a lot. It's just like yeah. it just 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 gets going, and then yeah. you know we're we're right from you know Eddie's in Mexico to Eddie's on the run, and you know he's you know the the xenophage is after him. I mean it's still yeah like the parts with you know Eddie and Brock you know with 
Eddie and like is a part where you know just this is very early on the film, so it's not that big of a spoiler, but he saves some dogs. And I was like, oh, that was cute. You know, that's that's fun, you know. But I mean, there's not a lot of moments like that, you know, like that's yeah. just a lot of parts where he has to like interact with other characters as Eddie Brock and not as Venom. And yeah. there's a lot of exposition and a lot of like we need to follow these other characters and see what they're all about. And I'm like, I really don't care about these characters. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, oh, I did enjoy the uh, Las Vegas scenes. Like it just, it just feels fun. Like I wish there was yeah. more of that. And especially when he's trying to, it's in a trailer. So I don't think this is a spoiler if you've seen the trailer, yeah. but there's a part where he's trying to get in. And then the uh, security is like, nah, you're not coming in wearing that. And there's a guy <laughs> peeing in the back uh, on the other side. And, uh, you know, he's peeing on his Ooh. foot <laughs> and, <laughs> and he, you know, in the trailer, you know, it shows like, you know, he, he knocks him out, he takes the outfit. So he's like, he's sharp and he's handsome looking. Uh, yeah. So I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, no, there's and, still, there's like, yeah, I mean, at the screening I was at, there was still a lot of people that were laughing. So it's not like, you know, it's not funny or that there aren't, you know, humor <laughs> scenes it's just the overall I, movie is not there were they laughing because the movie was intentionally <laughs> funny <laughs> or uh because in my theater uh -huh. there are like many awkward moments awkward silences of just like there's something happening and then the the scene just lingers on too long and then people were like chuckling <laughs> so yeah no i i mean it, it i'm surprised like when i when the movie ended and the credits when it started People in my theater were clapping at the end. Yeah, of my too. I, yeah, they're clapping. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, people actually enjoyed this movie." That means okay. Here's the thing: uh, with the first two Venom movies, there are fans of the first two Venom movies. Uh, so clearly, like the uh, there were people that loved it, enjoyed it way more than me. Because my thoughts similar to yours in terms of like I think first the first Venom is probably like the best of the bunch. But that's not saying much because I thought the first Venom was okay. Uh, the second one I did not like. And it's just like because we're gonna get carnage, and it's not. I really was like, carnage. wow, wow! <laughs> it's very <laughs> mediocre carnage. This is not yeah, absolute mediocre, carnage. This yeah. is not. This is not maximum carnage. This is yeah. this is mid carnage. <laughs> mid carnage, yeah. <laughs> and then with this one, yeah. So I feel like if you if you really loved the first two movies, I think you would enjoy this one. Yeah. Uh, but for me, like I thought the first was okay. The second one I did not like. And then, so the third one, I feel like the second and the third, I'm not sure how I feel yet, but I feel like they're both like, just, I thought they're both mediocre. <laughs> so I I think uh, I will like, one thing I did, I, you know, you asked me like, what the thing I, I, I enjoyed about this? I did like that. He's not fighting another symbiote. That did. Ah, that's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah, I like, true. I didn't want another story of him fighting another symbiote. That's not the case with this movie, but at the same time, like the, the main bad guy is not here. Like he's, He's somewhere else. He's, you know, in the shadows. Noel, Noel's the big baddie, but like he's, it, it's, he sends his minions out, you know, the xenophage and, you know, they don't talk. They don't, they just, they have like one, one goal and that's to kill, uh, you know, uh, Eddie Venom. or, you know, Eddie Venom. And Venom. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, some of the stuff that at least with them, as far as like them attacking and stuff, I thought that was kind of cool as far as like the action. But like it's still Kinda. like, but then and then and then they just add extra stuff there. You're like, what is going on? So I feel like let's go <laughs> let's go into the stuff that did not work okay. in this. And so let's 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 talk about the Xenophage, right? Yeah. Like in in the movie, like the Xenophage is going after Venom, and every time, whenever Venom becomes full Venom, uh, it's like a tracking beacon for the Xenophage. And then every time that happens, it's like the Xenophage just comes out of nowhere, like instantaneously. It's like they're just always nearby. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, how do... <laughs> but then they show at the beginning, there's like a teleporter. The Xenophage just always seems to know where Venom's at. Like, it's, mm -hmm. and then when you're even, watching, even when like, he's, yeah, yeah, even when he's not in uh, full Venom mode, they still like, yeah, they're, they're pretty like, much they're always the, on his trail. They're in the vicinity. And, <laughs> Like there, there are certain things where they kind of explain it at the in the prologue, but then I, I feel like during those parts where the Xenophage knows where he's at, I, I didn't think that would apply to that because it's more like they're still on the hunt. Yeah, and I'm like, ah, and then the Xenophage, it's just I feel like they're very OP, and there is like a part where how they um they they remind me of a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, no, that yeah. <laughs> 
No, yeah, that that was, but like when they started like eating people, that was kind of cool. And you're like, oh man, this is crazy. And like, it's kind of funny seeing, um, like the in the first film you had the the Life Foundation, which is it's an actual group in the very first comic, which is uh, Venom Lethal Protector. They're they're trying to go come after Venom and they're trying to get the symbiote from him. And then in this movie, it's not the Life Foundation, but it's very much similar to the Life Foundation with the whole like them being like hanging from the helicopter. I was like, this is this is like the jury, the jury, are, and then you know uh, what's his name, Ch Chichiro er Erdoford. I can't remember how to say it. Chichiro Erdoford. Yeah, Chichiro Erdoford. But yeah. like he's like the head guy, and then like he's, he's got he's always like a head guy and going after yeah. the main character and very serious. It's like, no, we gotta do things my way. Whatever you guys are doing, get get out of my way. Uh <laughs> so he, he, he kind of reminds me of his character in uh, was it Firefly? And yeah. uh also kind of kind of like Doctor Strange, where very serious, and then like a character gets in his way, it's like, no, no, I'm not having this. And then you got like you know Juno Temple, and she's like she's just like she's she's a scientist, you know, like this is all very scientific. And then yeah, it's just I, I, these characters they they don't really give you enough time to really yeah. care for them. They even give you some of the backstory to uh, Juno Temple's character, but I was just like, wh 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 why are we why are we even taking time to do this? This is supposed it to feels be, out of place. This is supposed to be Eddie Brock's last movie. Why yeah. why are we not why are we not focusing on him? You know yeah. But I think like there are ways to do it where you have the main character, but still introduce other characters to have a little bit of backstory. But I felt like with Juno Temple's Dr. Payne, they're trying to do too much of it. Yeah. And then there's like no, like, I think, I guess there was like a payoff at the end uh, in terms of like, I guess the message is uh, caring about others. I guess. <laughs> uh, you should care for other people. <laughs> yeah. But I think you could have done that without that whole backstory that they've introduced for Dr. Payne. And I, I felt like, yeah, just all these characters, it just felt tacked on. Uh, they're just kind of going through the motions of just being in uh, with uh, Chiyoto, uh just being the obstacle for Venom. And yeah, just like, okay, so going back to the, what character we talked about before we started recording, she does something in this movie. I don't, I don't want to, you know, it's just not going to spoilers, but like, she does something at some point in this movie where I was like, oh, I, I didn't see that coming at all. Like, I, she gave me no indication that she was like going to help out with the, the crew or whatever you want to say. Like, because there's just like, nothing's really verbally communicated where I'm like, oh, yeah, this character would do this because of, you know, we, we've, we've set this up, you know, as far as like, I don't know, they, they communicate with either Eddie Brock or you know venom or something you know they do people just do things <laughs> just in order for the plot to people advance. do do things <laughs> and can we talk about the i think the very dumb family uh with uh reese ifans as the father yeah. like there's like a, they're like a hippie family the daughter does not want to be there and then the there's the son and then there's the mother and they're trying to go to area 51 and the stuff they do in this movie i'm like you guys are idiots. Um, <laughs> what, what are you doing? Like it, it's like this this whole subplot with this family. I felt like they could have just taken it out because I was just like, just, uh, I'm like, the, oh, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> the the other thing is, why why even have that actor in this movie in the first place? Because a lot of people yeah. were like, oh my god, they they got you know, Kurt Dr. Connors. Connors. Yeah, Dr. Connors back into the movie again. And then yeah. like he has nothing to do with that character. Yeah, it's a different it's like, character. There's no tie into different. anything. It's completely different. It's like a hippie father. They're in a van and that's pretty much it. And he does stupid things. He's a terrible father. <laughs> He's a terrible <laughs> father. Uh <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like that's that's kind of like the stuff that you're like if if you were if you never had any you know plans to somehow link that those that character together with you know Connors, why even bother casting him? Like get somebody else, you know? It it, it didn't did it have to be him? Like yeah. I, I don't I don't I don't know. And then there was a whole like uh, a bunch of leaks or not leaks, but like you know rumors started coming around about who the kid was. Um, there was very early, like, 
rumors. I, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said that it was possibly going to be a young Peter Parker and that the movie was going to be Venom protecting Peter Parker. That obviously doesn't <laughs> happen this movie. It's just, it's just a kid. He's just a kid. I mean, I, and I guess that's probably better because it still would have been really weird. Like, you're yeah. gonna, he's going to protect young Peter Parker. Why is not Kurt Connors, the father of Peter Parker. Uh, I, and it's going to like, so we're going to watch Peter's parents die. And then he, <laughs> Venom takes care of, of Peter. Like, I don't know. It was, it would have been weird, but yeah, like the whole family, uh, I, I could have done without that whole subplot, you know, yeah, like it, was... it didn't really need to be in there. <laughs> the, only, the only, the only, the good part, the only best part is there's a part where they're, they're, they're riding down the road and, you know, uh, not Kurt Connors starts singing and strumming his guitar because he's a hippie, and then Venom starts singing along, and that that that's probably the best part of the the, the best inclusion of this family. That was that was the best yeah. part for them. That other than that, oh, yeah. they they didn't need to be in this. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> that was like a kind of fun part where, yeah, yeah. It's, you saw a bit of that in the trailer where you know he's got the guitar and all that <laughs> happy yeah. happy family time. And can we talk about uh we got yeah Stephen Graham as Detective Mulligan. I completely forgot who this character was. I was like who what <laughs> I don't remember this character at all. And <laughs> it's I just felt like uh his whole story just kind of his plot is kind of pointless. He's kind of there just to be like the uh exposition scenes and also there's a part part where there's like a uh because now he's got the uh, symbiote and he's possessed, whatever you want to call it. And then when he's doing that symbiote vo voice thing, I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> like he's trying <laughs> too hard. And uh, whatever direction it was given to him was like they didn't tell him like, hey, hey, this is let's uh let's calm down on that. Let's relax on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like especially like after the end of uh, the last movie, um, they they kind of hint that he has a symbiote in him. And then in this movie, they were like, he's dead. And they're like, what happened to the symbiote? And then they have to they have to inject him with another symbiote. Yeah. And then that's what brings him back to life. And he's not whatever the symbiote, because there are a lot of people that are like, okay, well, the character is very similar to the the character's name is uh what's his name? Mulligan, Peter Mulligan, I think is his name. Or yeah, Mulligan. Uh, Mulligan, yeah, which is actually uh, Patrick Mulligan. Sorry, Patrick Mulligan is a character known as Toxin in the comics. He is not Toxin. He, he, whatever reason they may have thought it, that they were going to go that way with the let there be carnage, and I think they were like, we're not doing that, and so they changed it because now he has this green. Uh, he, I, I think there people were like, uh, they don't really get, say his name, but Slasher is one of the green. Uh, symbiote so they think he's slasher because he has a lot of tentacles as well uh but i i mean i don't know they never say his name so we really can't you know say yes or no but yeah he, he is not toxin in this movie he's he's completely different symbiote and like i i, I don't know maybe like plans changed like they they thought they were going to do something and then it turned out that that wasn't the way that they were going to go with this movie but yeah he he's he's really like an afterthought in this movie i mean i, I don't know how much he got paid, but I'm going to guess like he, it was like a one day shoot. Cause he basically stays in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, anything else that you thought did not work in this film? Um, I can't like, there's certain things that, yeah, I, I would want to get more into details, but like, yeah, like you're saying, like we, we don't want to go too heavily into spoilers. Um, yeah, I I can't really elaborate on some of the stuff that I thought didn't work because I think yeah, like there's still still fun parts. You still want to see Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock and as Venom, and it's just the the story is just not there. There's not there's nothing that's really driving this character to his his destination, and you're just kind of like okay, well at least if you at least give me more Venom, then I'll I'll. I'll, 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 you know, I'll go along for the ride, but it's just, yeah, yeah. I think that they, they should try to cram too much into this movie and they tried to set up whatever they plan to do afterwards. Cause I, nobody's really sure what's yeah. going to happen. Rumors say Spider-Man four rumors say something else. Like I, we, I have no idea. And like, if you stay and you watch, there's two credit scenes. I'm not going to say anything about them. There's two credit scenes. I still have no idea what's happening with this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I still have no idea where yeah. they're going with this. This is yeah, like I'll I'm, be, 
big as possible. Let's say the first one. Uh, well, the, well, the second one. I'm like, okay. Um, where is this headed? What's happening? You know? Like, yeah. So this will be also another minor, minor spoiler. I don't think it's like a major spoiler where the prologue starts off with Noel. He's talking about pretty much what's happening and what he wants to do. And the moment I saw this with the narration, I'm like, this is bad. Like, he does not sound threatening at all. And the way he's telling the story, I'm like, it just ruins the, uh, just the beginning, like the, uh, the tone of the film. And it just kind of slows things down. And I was like, this is... This is not. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's Andy Serkis you're talking to, all right. <laughs> no, but like he sounded. I don't know if you saw the trailer. He sounded better in the trailer that they had, like a yeah. very short. It's it's the 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 voice that he uses in the trailer is not in the movie. It's a completely yeah. different voice line. So I don't know what happened if they changed it or re re rewrote it or whatever, but. Yeah. It's different. It's not the same voice. I mean, it's it's similar enough, but yeah, it's it's more apparent that it's Andy Circus. Like it gives yeah. you more of that like low, you know, Caesar voice kind of like you know growl. This is completely different. I, I the the voice lines that you I hear think the, yeah, it's yeah. I think not the, the problem same. is that he's not even talking. Like you're trying to make it, but it's like it's darkness. But he's just still. But he's talking like a very animated. So it just feels out of place. It feels hokey. Um, and it just does not make me feel like, oh, this no guy. I'm, I should be scared of this guy. Like when you first, <laughs> like I want to compare this scene to when you first see like how they first start out with Thanos in Avengers Endgame or uh, in Infinity War. In Infinity War, you see him with his crew. Uh, they've just taken down uh, Thor's uh, people, the Asgardian ship. And just mm -hmm. how he handles it. You're like, dude, this guy, I do not want to mess with this guy. And just the way they have Josh Brolin deliver his lines, it's just too good, too good. Here, yeah. the, the direction of it and just how he's sitting and talking and he's just narrating. It sounds like he's narrating. I'm like, this is not a good way to start the film. And <laughs> yeah, and then we see him like bits and pieces of him later on. I'm like, I'm not. This guy is not going to be a a threat. Like you can he can be a threat on paper, but watching it, I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, I I don't know what they they plan to do with Noel. Um, judging by, I, and it's it's very weird because rumors that are this is possibly connected to Spider Man Four. Um, I don't know if that's still happening because it it. I I really don't know because they they they've always had problems. Marvel's Marvel and Sony have always kind of like stayed on their own sides. Besides Spider Man, Spider Man's like the only thing that is you know will 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 jump into Marvel and or they still have some sort of kind of foothold into what happens with the uh, Spider Man. Uh, but with with Null and what he does next, I I mean I I just don't know what they what their plans are and this is supposed to be Venom's last movie. And, you know, if, if they do so do something with, uh, Spider-Man, cause I mean, they, they, it's, I think it's also really weird that I don't know if you noticed the John, they just announced today, you know, Tom Holland was just on uh, Jimmy Fallon, uh, mm -hmm. like literally like a couple hours ago where he's, he announced that, yeah, he's, he's back for his Spider-Man four and that it's going to be filming in the summer. And I thought that was like, that's really weird that they would announce it. Like, right before the the premiere of venom i don't know i mean it, like i gotta say there's there's still like no confirmation that these two things are connected at all this is you know this is just odd coincidence but i mean we'll just have to wait and see um yeah like i thought wasn't very impressed by no like it's just it, it's like at least like it, say um what's his name with Jonathan Major's character, I forgot. I mean, I've already forgot him already. Kang, <laughs> Kang. Yeah, at least he actually did something. You know, like yeah. he's out there, he's fighting, he's 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 killing people left and right. You well, know? I would say this: No, here it feels kind of like Thanos in Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just more of in the background. He's scheming in the background, and uh, I feel like they're trying to make this a bigger thing with uh, with No here and then with Thanos. Uh, but I feel like this one, it just introduced him way later. And by that time, I I checked out. 
I'm like, yeah, <laughs> don't care. Do not care. Yeah, because I mean, at least at least with like Thanos in the beginning, he was always kind of like a a you know oh, oh a shadowy figure like yeah. behind the scenes, and but now it's like no no is he's we we see him, but he doesn't really do anything, and then you know he 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 really he really can't do anything because he's, I mean. I don't. I don't. I don't want to get a spoiler, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. So I think that's uh, enough of our uh, just <laughs> bat mouthing this movie. <laughs> uh, so I think in conclusion, I uh, yeah. Uh, if you're if you if you enjoyed the first two Venoms, I'm pretty sure you enjoy this one. And if you thought the first two Venom movies were meh, I don't think this is going to change your mind. And no, I feel yeah. like. Uh, it just kind of got goes downwards uh, in terms of just the entertainment value. And then just a lot of the stuff in this movie for me, I'm just like, what, what are you guys doing? And uh, it's just a lot of awkward scenes where they're talking. Like, let's say there's a moment with Eddie Brock and Reese Ifan's character. They're talking they're, uh <laughs> And then they just dead air. And then, and then <laughs> so I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> like, are we going to continue talking or is this? Uh, so I feel like the, uh, the editors, wherever it is, the director, like, hey, just trim this. Like after you're done talking, just trim that part out because they're just like staring into space. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. It was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a scene where, where Eddie's running and he's like, Eddie, and he like, Eddie looks up and he's like, Martin. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. Yeah. yeah I, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very awkward. And like the, the pacing is just not there for the movie and the story. I, if, if I wish there was something more that could help, you know, drive the, the movie forward. Cause there's still like good parts. Like it still said, you know, Eddie, when he finally like gets to the points where like, you know, it's just Eddie Brock and it's just Venom. It's it's still good. And it's still like, you know, there's still like emotional moments. There's like a serious moment here and there. You're like, oh, I, I didn't expect that in this movie, you know. But at the same time, you're like, well, it's still not the movie overall is not good, unfortunately. Like it's the point the, the plot's not interesting. The 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 reason why you know all these characters come together is just not interesting. And yeah, you know, like you said, like if you if you like the first two movies, I think you'll still enjoy this movie. I've seen people online enjoy this movie. We we heard people in the theaters. We clapping, heard the clapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clapping for this so movie. So there, some people, and then one of them, uh, they were talking like uh, because the others were like, "Oh, this movie's bad," but then one of them was like, "Man, you're just no fun." <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> "Whoa, whoa, how, I love how, fun. I'm here to have fun. Come you. on, <laughs> how dare you?" But like, yeah, it's yeah. like I see people that are like, "This is the best out of the three and I'm like, "Okay," but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say that. But that's you know, that's just you know, my opinion. That's just your opinion. You know, we, we all have you know different tastes, and we've all you know seen multiple different movies and we, we don't see it all the same way but yeah i think just just for me and you know just judging from you know what you've said to you kind of came with the with the same you know impression which was just just overall wasn't wasn't good yeah and uh, yeah i think that's those are our thoughts for venom the last dance let us know what your thoughts are when you see this movie do you think uh you agree with us or uh, you're like nah you guys don't understand venom all right <laughs> so you, you're no fun you're, you're, no fun. You're, you're no fun you're no fun john yeah yeah so <laughs> let us know in the comments below with that said i'm john i'm mike and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>